Hello, and welcome to this session of working with Microsoft Excel. So I've got a complete beginner to advanced Microsoft Excel course. And one of my students that said that course asked me a really awesome question. Then I thought I would share the results of this question back with you all here. So let me do a little bit of setup here. Open in front of you, I've got an example file and I've made this file available for you to download. All you need to do is go down to the description of this video, just right down there below, and look for the officenoob.com blog link, and you can find a link to this file here. The file that you're looking for will be called Material Capacity-01. So look for that link down below. And while you're there, if you enjoy the video, you learned something new, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. That lets me know you're enjoying it and you're learning something new. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we post here about working with Microsoft Excel as well as other Office applications. So once you've got that file open, let's take a look at the scenario here. So this student, they had a pretty simple list and it looks something like what I have here. I've got a material column, three different materials, cardboard, plastic, metal. I've got a capacity column here where each of the different materials have a different capacity rating. Maybe these are pounds or ounces or whatever it might be. So we can see cardboard has got one for 25, got one for 40 and so on. Plastics starts at 25 and continues all the way up to 150. And then metal starts at 50 all the way up to 800. So the question that I got here is, hey, I've got a list, something like this right here. I want users to be able to pick a material and then tell me what their current capacity is. What, what do they need to fill? Okay. So I created this little list right here, or this simple little header and value section where the customer can input a material that they want and they can put in the capacity that they need. Now, what the student needed back is the suggested capacity for that material. Well, if I want plastic and I'm expecting 105 pounds or ounces or whatever it is, well, I can't say, let's see, plastic, I can't grab the 100, I can't grab 75 or 50 or 25, I need the next largest above their current capacity. So in this case, I would need to return the 125 back. Here, we're gonna use an if statement combined with a min function, and within the if statement, we're gonna specify multiple criteria utilizing these two ranges of data. So let's take a look. I'm gonna jump into my G4 cell. This is where I might want my output to come out. Now, ultimately, what I wanna get back here is the next largest value within this material array, right? So if we look at plastic, I need to say, okay, they got one, 105, well, there's 100, what's the next one up above it? 125, that's what I wanna get back. So what I'm gonna put in here might seem a bit strange, but we'll discuss it as we continue. So I'm gonna start out, it's gonna be a formula, so I've got my equal sign in there, but then I'm gonna bring in the min function, okay? and we'll come back to that here in just a moment. I'm gonna open up the parentheses. Now within that parentheses, we need to determine where it's gonna find the min value. Well, for us, I need it to look at the plastic area, right, based on the user input here. But then within that plastic area, I need to only look at essentially these two values here. I wanna find everything that's greater than this 105 capacity that the customer's given us. So let's get rid of that. So here I'm gonna bring in the if function. I'm gonna open up a parentheses for that if, and now I'm gonna specify my two sets of criteria. I need to say, look for plastic, look for it inside this range, and look for the values that are greater than 105 within the capacity section. Now my first criteria, I'm gonna open up a parentheses, and I'm gonna say, look at this range, and if it's equal to this right here, what is that, E4, great. Then I'm gonna close the parentheses. I'm gonna use an asterisk here, 
because I got two sets of criteria and it has to be an and. Look for plastic and look for this next criteria. I'm gonna open up a parentheses and my next criteria is gonna say, okay, inside this range, we want everything that's greater than this 105. And I'll close my parentheses. So my if's got two criteria in there. Look at B3 to B21 or the material section and give me back where it's equal to this value right here, E4. And look at this range and give me back things that are greater than F4. But because my first criteria there is looking for plastic, it's only gonna look within this range right here to return the value back to me. So now I'll do a comma. There's my criteria, my condition for my if. Now I need to tell it what to use for my min function. So here I'm gonna grab the capacity section again. I'll close the parentheses for my if, and I'll close the parentheses for my min. And that's it. I'm gonna hit my enter key. And there's my 125. So we're looking at plastic. We're looking at everything that is greater than 105, which is those two. So our function essentially says, here's the two values, give that back to the min, and it's gonna give me the minimum value within that range. So now if I change this, let's say, well, let's, let's do a different capacity. They say, give me back uh, 130. That's what the customer wants. I have my enter key. Okay, well, the suggested is 150 for plastic. Well, what if I bring in metal? 130, let's make sure that that did it right. Ooh, that's the same. <laughs> let's try something else. Let's say 175. All right, if it's 175, so 150, give me back the minimum value within this range, there's my 200. So this is your if function with multiple conditions in there, but looking at an array of data looking at an array for the material and looking at an array for the capacity. Using the asterisk in there because it's an and. Look for this and look where this is true and then give back the proper range for the min. Try this out. Get the file. If you haven't downloaded it already, you can find it down below. It's called material capacity hyphen zero one. And if you learned something new here, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for updates on new videos that we, that we add to this channel. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.